Anyways, it's like I was talking to my cousin last night, and he's like, you should get this, you should get that. I go, dude, I got 203 guitars. <laughs> what do you even do with that, man? You don't do anything. There's some guitars that I'm, I like the, I have a Dean split tail, you know, or it's the, the one Zach played, where it looks like a SG and a V or whatever. I haven't seen that thing since 2013. I made a video. I saw it. I, I'm trying to track it. Oh, like 2013. That's where I lost that. I lost the bass. The that Nikki Six, you know, white with blood splattered on it. The BC Rich Warlock. Don't know where that is. I didn't sell them. Anyway, so the Sharon thing that I talked about. It got a reaction. Um, I did say a few goofy things like, you know, when Mo when Nikki Six went to audition for Motley Crue, no one caught that. He went to audition for <laughs> Quiet Riot. And when he did, he couldn't even tune his own bass. And Randy felt sorry for him. So they, Nikki actually came over to Randy's house a couple of times because he just worked down the street at a liquor store. So, there you go. This is something that I thought, I, you know, I said it, and then no one caught me on it, because everybody likes to bust my chops over all sorts of crap. Which is fine. That's cool. Subscribe, man. What is it, 977? All I need is like 23 more. But it needs to stay above 1,000 once I hit it. But thank you, everybody that did that like i did it just like hey you know what let's be like pbs the people that are always begging for money i'm not even begging for money i'm just begging for subscribers so i'm close less than 25 to go i think it was at 977 or 978 last time i looked so let's do this let's this video have it push it over i don't know what else to say you know besides the story i was talking about I don't know what else to say. You know, Sharon stealing, that's how she got control. <laughs>
these strings are? Very old. Very old. Anyways. Just so everybody can see everything. No, it's not a Jackson. I just threw that on there. I don't know why. Why not? Right? Does it really matter? Oh my god. Uh, so the story. Um, brought up a lot of people. Like, one guy was saying, well, why would the Masters be in L.A.? I was trying to explain. Two people asked that question. I, I tried to explain it. I hope they got it. The Masters are in L.A. <laughs> The person who owned Jet Records was Don Arden. The person who paid for both albums and every recording was Don Arden. Don Arden had a huge estate in the Hollywood Hills where her, you know, daughter and Ozzy and his group of bums would uh, hang out when they were in LA. But wherever he was, the, the masters were. There was a pretty sizable L.A. office. I mean, sure, you, everybody thinks Jet Records, it's a, a London or England, U.K. company. They had a huge roster at the time. In the 70s, they had a lot of people. So when they were going to do this big sell-off, he knew that Ozzy could blow up and make him a ton of money or die and piddle out into nothing but he put his money on Ozzy and he was going to make sure he had the masters that's why the masters were in a vault in LA he had to run back to London and this was right when this when the diary tour was just starting so she was taking the masters back around the time of the Chicago shows which is weird because that's what I Trying to get that Chicago show ready for you guys, you know, to hear on YouTube. But, uh, so, I gotta reread re the letter she sent me, but it was either she was going to fly to Chicago and then to London, or I think she was going to fly to London and then to Chicago, I don't know. Or she was going to fly to London, give them the Masters, they were going to fly to Chicago, something like that. That's why she had all the checks and all that stuff. He's still, you know, the guy, Exhibit A, took like a jacket. He took a lot of stuff, you know, for himself. Not caring that his, you know, girlfriend could lose her job or anything. This is like very important, you know. And you don't make, you know, copies of someone's checks. Even if it is, you know, Randy Rhodes. See, because he, he likes to tell people that Randy Rhodes gave him some... Why would he do that? He wouldn't even do it to his own mother. Hey, Mom, here's a check stub or whatever. It's crazy. But it, all he did is he copied checks that were made out to Randy Rhodes. He's got no signatures from Randy, as far as I know. He just claims to. He claims to have picks, but, you know, Randy didn't have picks. He just had normal picks... Fender mediums, I think that he would, because he didn't like using these, and I don't think these are even. I know Mick started using these immediately, and he used a really light gauge. I don't, or I hate that those whatever they are. I don't like them. But anyways, Jim Jim Dunlop, uh, whatever. So Randy would, you know, he would, you know, put marks in it for grip because he would sweat like crazy he i mean randy looked really cool he looked kind of like he was in shape because he was so thin he had no body fat and he smoked like a chimney <laughs> so he couldn't run he couldn't do anything he would you know in the in the aussie shows he just start sweating profusely and he was you know not moving around a whole lot. If you see the live footage, he he get into positions and he pose and he, you know do all that head banging and great posing. And to me, that's what you should do. 
I hate people that run around the stage like Wasp used to do. Like they used to tell me to do. You gotta run across the stage. You gotta act like a wild man. I go, no, I think that looks stupid. Especially when you guys collide. Which which is cool. The best thing to do is to plant yourself, but not, you know, be a statue, but walk around, cool, and put yourself in positions where you're, you know, doing poses and stuff like that. So when people pick, take a picture, it looks good. So Randy was master at that. He'd mastered that in the, in the clubs because everybody was there to take a picture of him. So anyways, that's why the Masters were in L.A., because Don lived in L.A. most of the time. He went back to London, he got hold of this girl, and she was to take all this paperwork and stuff, and the Masters, with her, boom, over to London. So he would have them, because he had a feeling Sharon might try something. She did. She actually wasn't thinking about it. It was all Mr. A's fault. Because he called either her office or her and, you know, said, if you want them, this is the address, this is where they are. And she immediately took it up. So that's the end of that. I can't talk anymore, of course, because I got started too late. But, so that's that. So let's just get the rest of the subscriptions up. I only need, like, 20-something more. Let's just do this, okay? I don't know what that was for, but subscribe and comment more. All right? Later. Well, Happy New Year, because I probably won't make another one till after New Year. I don't know. Depends on if I can find some time. All right. Happy New Year. 2020. Later.